Reverend Plemons was born in Pineland, Texas, into a large family with 11 siblings. He worked at a sawmill there with his father and went to church with his mother. Pineland was the first place where Reverend Flemings experienced racism and discrimination while living through the Jim Crow era. While living there, he witnessed lynchings of black men. Reverend Flemings left Texas when he was 18 and was drafted into the army where he was an engineer. He left the army six years later when he was 24 and moved to California where he studied ministry. After spending time studying ministry in California, his brother suggested a move to Flagstaff, Arizona where he could work at a sawmill. Although it had been many years since the Jim Crow laws he faced in Texas, discriminatory laws based on stereotypes still existed. De facto segregation policies prevented all people of color from owning homes north of the train tracks of Flagstaff. In the early 1950s, Reverend Flemings wanted to build his home on Clay Street in Flagstaff, but again faced discriminatory policies. The Arizona Bank limited to lending to people of color to $800. Lending discrimination persists in Flagstaff today. Lending policies appear to sanction discrimination and predatory practices in high minority concentration neighborhoods such as Sunnyside and Southside. Practices include loan denials, withdrawal and enclosure, lending at high rates, limited educating on the credit market, and foreclosure interventions. De facto segregation policies also made it difficult for blacks to eat in restaurants. Reverend Flemings and his wife went to Pearl's Fountain, one of the only restaurants that would serve blacks in Flagstaff at the time. Reverend Flemings led the Church of God in Christ in Flagstaff. As a leader in this church, he worked with other black churches in Flagstaff to fight against stereotypes of people of color and segregation that still persisted in Flagstaff. He fought against segregation in many ways with other black leaders in Flagstaff, such as segregation of schools in Flagstaff. He is still remembered today by many as a great leader in person. His impact can still be seen today by, in his grandson, John Flemings, the lead singer of the band The Carolina Chocolate Drops. Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind.